Both Tucker and Comer are suffering from what's called a cold stub, which means that the sea turtles, which really like warm water, get into some cold water, and that cold water begins to shut all their systems down. The Pacific Northwest is not an area where these sea turtles should be. And after being stabilized at the Vancouver and Seattle aquariums, they are now here for their long-term rehabilitation care. Cold stun sea turtle rehabilitation is not an easy process. It's a long process, it's a difficult process. So here at SeaWorld over the next eight months, we're gonna make sure that the turtles are functioning at the highest level. Uh, the vets will continue to do uh, investigations on blood work and x-rays and ultrasounds. Now this morning I just finished checking up on their just daily behaviors. So are they swimming? Are they able to use their flippers? And, and this is key to the rehab too, to make sure that they are step by step beginning to be rehabilitate. Sea turtle rescue on the west coast is a very expansive process and lots of facilities assist and work together to protect these valuable endangered animals. The Seattle Aquarium and the Vancouver Aquarium were able to help us by initially stabilizing these animals. The long-term care will be taken care of here at SeaWorld San Diego. And we're one of the few facilities in the country that can provide that long-term care. It's so important to give these endangered species that key second chance at life.